All right, here we are um, in our citizen map, the one that we worked on yesterday. And we set up some AI relationships. So for this map, what we're going to work on is creating a very simple um, uh, walking pattern or path that we want some citizens to follow. Um, this would be used for, you know, like if we wanted a, a part of the map, you know, where people are walking around, milling around, walking in directions. Uh, we can also use it to, you know, if we trigger something, we can send NPCs to a certain spot or um, it works for any of the NPCs. And, and we, we're basically establishing a point on the map that we want them to go to. And then once they get there, we can have them go to another point or you know stop or, or whatever so we're going to create sort of a walking pattern that we're going to have these NPCs follow so it's going to be repetitive but um, it's going to make them kind of walk around the map in a circle and if you did this right you could have them like walk into a door and then come out a different door and walk down the street go around behind a building or something so we, we could almost give the appearance on the map of a sort of an organic alive city by having people walking around and going to different places so this is just a really simple way to get an npc to walk to a, a position on the map now the first thing i want to do is yesterday we set up a whole bunch of um, ai relationships so for this lesson today i don't want anybody um, hating me or fearing me or anything like that because it can interfere with their ability to do what I tell them to do because their emotional relationship with the character will override their pathfinding sometimes. So step one is going to be to take out all the AI relationships that we've created. Okay, so I have, I think I told you guys to make four citizens and do like a hate, fear, neutral and like. So go ahead and delete all your AI relationships, and then we're gonna put in a brand new, fresh AI relationship on the map. And what we're gonna use this for is to neutralize all the citizens' emotions so that we can make them walk around. So on the new AI relationship, this guy right here, it's a really simple relationship. I want the entire class of NPC citizen the subject is exclamation point player. The disposition is neutral, start active, reciprocal. So, um, you know, give it a name because we'll turn it off in a future lesson. But, um, but what we're doing here is under subject NPC citizen, we are telling the uh, entire class of objects called NPC citizens, every citizen in the game is neutral to the player. I'm going to click apply and make sure you got rid of all the other AI relationships on your map so we're only going to use this one for today's lesson all right now the entity we're going to use for today is called a path corner so we're going to go to our entity tool we're going to come over here under category objects path corner when you drop it in, it looks like a box. We're going to open up the box. We're going to give it a name. Something really simple. So um, I, I'm going to call this uh, Joe Path 1. All right. I'm going to click Apply. And I'm going to close it. Now, from here, we're going to duplicate this path corner and create the route that we want um, the person to walk. Okay, so we're creating a walking path around our map. So I'm going to go ahead and from my top view here, I'm going to shift, left click and hold, drag, and I'm going to release and that creates path and then what you'll notice if we go back to the new path corner is that it established a line between them and if we open this one up it automatically incremented the name so this is Joe path 2 
Now let's go back and look at the first one. Open it up. Look what it did. This was Joe Path 1. Next stop target. It auto filled it with the next path. So Joe Path 2 was automatically filled in there for me. All right. So now what we're going to do is I want you to take these path corners and I want you to make a circular uh, walking pattern out of them. And it doesn't really matter, you know, how far it goes on your map. But I'm just going to go um, shift click. And now we can't put them super far apart. Off the top of my head, I don't remember the maximum distance between them. Um, but, you know, you can't, it doesn't really hurt if you've got too many. You, you don't want to put them like a foot apart. But um, I know there is a distance, and I don't remember off the top of my head what it is. But uh, we're going to just go ahead and kind of, you know, map out a little path here. And then when you get to the last one, we have to connect the first and the last one. So we're going to go back to our path corners. All right. So here's my first, second, third. So you notice they've all got these lines between them. Perfect. We get to this last one. So I need to connect this one to this one. So I'm going to open up the last one. And you see where it says next stop target. I'm going to put in the name of the very first one. So that creates a complete loop for me. So I can drop this down and it'll actually show me all the entities in the game. Here's Joe Path 1. So that's the first one. You could also type it in if you want to. Um, I recommend using the drop down. That way there's no chance of you misspelling it or accidentally putting in a, a space or something like that. Um, but that's it. So we've got our path created. Right. And if we look at it, you'll see it's got lines between all of them. Perfect. Now I'm going to open up Joe. Let's see who's Joe. That's Ted. I think this is actually Joe over here. All right. So here's Joe. So for Joe on my character or my NPC citizen, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look for target path corner. All right. So what I have to do is tell him to go to that first path corner. Once he gets to the path corner, the next stop will be passed on from that path corner. So as long as we get him to the first one, he'll follow the path corners because they will tell him where to go next. So target path corner. Again, I can drop this down. I can find the first one. Click apply. And let's go ahead and save and compile the map. And I'll go ahead and run it. map has run. I'm going to reload it. And let's look around. All right, so there's Joe right there. So if we watch Joe, Joe is following the path. And what we're going to want to see here is I want to see if Joe gets all the way to the end. He's gonna he's getting close back to the beginning. Yes, sorry, Doc. There's Joe. He's back at number one, which sends him back to number two. Alright? So this is our first really simple um, AI pathfinding exercise. We're using path corners. That's the key element here, is the entity called a path corner. So um, your assignment today is I want you to make a group of four citizens walk around your map on different path tracks pretty much so so we're going to use uh, separate sets of path corners and we're going to create four walking loops that your four citizens are going to walk in so um, so I've created one for Joe so my next step would be to create another path corner name it you know Ted path one and just repeat the same step so I'm gonna have and they don't have to be extremely large you know four or five path corners in each one would be perfectly fine um, just to demonstrate that you're able to do this and a little bit of repetition is good to help you remember it. 
Now, what I typically use these for is if I've got some guards who I want to patrol a hallway or, you know, walk up and down a street. This is how a really simple way to do it. You put in some path corners, you tell the Kanban guard to, um, to go there, and he'll simply follow the path back and forth, back and forth. Now, if he sees you, he'll pursue you, and we have options for how far he can pursue you before he returns to his AI programming and starts patrolling again. Um, but this is a really simple way to take an NPC and have them do a, a very simple walking assignment for us. So your assignment today is to take the four NPCs from your map, get rid of the AI relationship, make a new neutral one like I did in the beginning of the video, and then establish a path corner um, trail for each one of them so they all four walk in separate ways. Um, you can turn it in by either sending me a really short video um, that shows them walking or um, you can send me some screenshots that detail each one of them so I can see that you've got a separate path for each one of them. All right. Don't forget, if we want these guys to walk, we have to have info nodes on the map. Remember, the info nodes are the um, these things right here. Without info nodes, we can't create a node graph. So if your dudes aren't walking, you don't have any info nodes on the map. They have to have info nodes to create the node graph for them to walk. All right. Awesome. I will see you guys back in the Teams meeting.